Okay, hello everybody. It's me, Colin. This is try number like five. I'm doing a lathering tutorial tonight. I've been asked to do one tonight. We're using PAA. This is just a regular cook and butter formula. Um, and then after I do my tutorial, I will be doing my um, regular shea video. Um, so let's get on with the tutorial and let's see how bad I can mess this up. And so far the camera skills from what I just saw are pretty rocking. So let's get on with it and bear with me, please. Cause I don't know what's going on here. Okay. So as long as my camera does not fall, which it looks like it's slowly and steadily falling. Maybe it's hold it still. Okay, so what we have here is a scoop and um, here, let's we'll push that back in and start, start from scratch because let's just do it that way. So what I do is I get my guitar pick and I go around the outside, around the outside, around the outside and I will scoop that much okay y'all might say wow that's a lot yeah it sure is but you know what when you have 70 something soap sets uh, you don't really worry about running out of junk but so uh, i used to be stingy about it and wayne who i'm sure will be watching this lather tutorial is gonna laugh because i am putting him on blast again because he always makes fun of me um, or he did, and so anyway, so now I have soap stuck to my pick, um, and normally at this point, I would wash my pick off and everything else, but I have to at least wash my fingers off because um, that's nasty. So while y'all are staring at a bowl with soap in it, um, How's everybody doing tonight, today, tomorrow, yesteryear, um, to morning, to yesternight, uh, whatever terminology you want to use, we can make some of it as we're hanging out here. Okay, so we got that all done. Now, here's my methodology. I use this fancy little cup here, which I have measured and it equals to five mLs of water. Now, I know that putting this much soap in here, right away off the bat, I could dump 10 mLs of water. Now, some of y'all might ask, how do I measure 10 mLs of water? The easiest way is if you could go to Walmart, um, Kroger, any grocery store, and go to the pharmacy and ask them, say, can I have a syringe for medicine i need a um, a five or ten ml syringe for medicines um, generally they will just hand you one for free so there you go but um five and a little extra that spilled over there and ten now i used hot i use warm distilled water um, Because where I live at in Alabama, I have um, really hard water and it's just awful. For my brush, I'm using just a gel board brush. And so then I get to um, circles and y'all might look at it and be like, wow, that's a ton of water. Well, it sure is. Uh, but this soap can handle it. Um, and I'll actually end up adding more soap. Um, let me see if y'all can see better using that hand. And that's my left hand. And as you can see, it's going really slow there because I am right handed. Um, and so this takes me back to when I had surgery. Oh, no, wait, that was my left arm. I haven't had my right arm done yet. Fixing to because it's getting harder and harder to make lather with. Um, can't shave my head really anymore. I haven't used an electric razor on my head 
from where I can't raise my arm high enough um, without it hurting really bad. Um, but if you notice already, um, a lot of my water has disappeared and I'm starting to get this, um, whatever you want to call it, foaminess. Um, Y'all might be thinking to yourself, well, that is not going to work. Now, if you notice, I'm not putting downward pressure. I'm not splaying my brush. I am just using the tips of my brush. Um, and going in circles. Now, with a natural brush... Um, if you notice that most of the water, lather, um, all that has kind of disappeared. And where'd that floater of soap go? Um, I have a chunk in here somewhere. I just saw it. Um, but if you notice, it's starting to get um, thicker. Time out. Uh, sorry, animals came in. Um, but if you notice here that my lather is already starting, it went to turn from just water and stuff to that. And see how it's starting to thicken up. Um, and you're probably thinking, wow, that is not enough lather to shave with. Well, you're very correct, but this is where patience, patience is a virtue. So keep, keep working that circle, work it, work it, work it. And you're gonna notice here in a second when I pull it away, I don't know, I don't think you can see it through my hand and um, the angle, but as I'm doing that, you can see how it's starting to um, get kind of pasty and, and thicken up. Um, and that's because the soap has um, taken in all the water that was in the bowl and now it's just becoming pasty. And if you notice from the beginning, um, it was just a big soupy mess and you were like, there's no way. Now, even now, if you look at it, it's still not looking too promising. Um, but with a bore brush, um, you see all that that just scraped out? Um, your brushes will always hold lather. I don't care if they're synthetic, um, natural. Natural hair tends to um, hold water and lather um, a little more, but that's what it's designed to do. Um, from the creator, it's designed to hold water um, to protect or whatever, you know, it's animal. Um, so at this point, I break out my mister. Now my mister, each squirt, one pump is one ml of water. So let's give it two. Two and try to get some of that down at the bottom. Let's go ahead and scrape the, the brush. We'll give it two more. So now we're at 14 ml of water total. I need to get me a little um, scale, like a tiny one, um, like for um, like a little one for. Uh, 
Okay, so now if you uh, notice here as I've continued to work this lather, um, it's still thick. Let's add two more. So now we're at 16 mLs of water and I'm still just continually working the tips only. Working the tips only. Sorry, I moved my camera trying to get a trying to see if I could get a little better angle there. Um, Now, when I was using just the water from here in Huntsville, um, I was having to use, if I used as much soap as I used right now, um, I wouldn't have near this amount of lather, um, but I'm using distilled water and distilled water is soft water. Um, so I've had two more mLs, so that's how many? How many are we up to? 18 total so far. Um, I was having to use a ton and ton, uh, I'm talking like a bunch of soap um, and hardly any, I wasn't able to use a lot of water because of the hard water um, so I was having to use three times the product and a third of the water. Um, it, it's just weird how it, the ratios were working out. And so um, I looked up about distilled water. Okay, so now we're up to, what are we at, 16, 18 mLs of water, or of water? If you notice that the lather's coming together, but it's still thick. It's starting to get a sheen on it. Um, but this is PAA. Um, it loves water. So give it some more water. If you stop, if you've already stopped, um, you're going to end up with a thick, um, dry lather that's not going to have all this glide and the slickness that PAA soaps have. Um, and so, you know, I've just been using tip only. I'm not forcing, I'm not splitting the brush to add a lot of air into the um, lather. Uh, I'm just gently working it. But as you see from patients, you know, we are 14 minutes into this lather and tutorial. This, um, this lather normally would have taken me about three and a half minutes to make. Um, because I wouldn't have added two mLs at a time. I would have started off by dumping 15 mLs of water in it to begin with and going from there. But did you see that? That right there is a creamy, well hydrated lather. Um, now with PAA, you could probably push it and add more water to it. it it's pretty hard to drown out PAA. Um, 
there's a point where you can. Um, I don't know if I've ever actually hit that point though. Um, you know, so let's just gently work in that last two ml of water to try to not to introduce any more air into this. Um, and just work that two mls of water into it nice and gently. You know, look at this, it just, let's give it two more, you know, why not, heck. We're gonna shave in a minute anyway, so. So now I believe I am at 22 mLs of water for this soap. Um, sorry about that. The alarm went off to give my dog her medicine and it kicks off the video. So as I was saying, I believe now I'm at 22 mLs of water. And um, you know, PAA is just good stuff. So there you go. Um, I'll make another one soon with a synthetic brush and another one with a badger brush. Uh, the next soap I'll do a different type of soap. Uh, I'll do a tallow soap and then we'll try another soap next time. Um, but thank you for joining me. Um, I hope you have good shaves and I hope this was helpful. Um, and, um, have a good night. Take care, be safe, and God bless.